Welcome. I'm David. I'm Lindsay. And, and this, this is Statesman's, Statesman's Donders. We're at New Aberdour. St. Rostin's well there. And it's white brickwork. Headland. Look at its caves. It's windy and the sea is making some noise. Up until a few minutes ago, these rocks were full of birds, and I mean full. And they've been chased off by someone and their dog. There's a well inside there. And a seat to enjoy the views. The gulls are back on the rocks, but as yet, the cormorants have yet to join them. But the oyster catchers have. We're at New Abadara Beach. Now well, it looks okay. You probably hear the sound of a generator. And it's choosing between that and the wind to make this short clip. But we're here, part of our Abadincha tour. And uh, Lindsay's last long holiday of the year before uh, Christmas and New Year sets in. So later on in the day, I had some camera problems and the uh, the video is a lot black and white and the sun is about to set. Pointing in the opposite direction you can see there's some colour, the red of the stones, green of the grass and the clefts. Here are the caves. No doubt, spot them sooner, closer. And there, St. Droston's well.
New Aberdour Beach. It is near the small 18th century planned village New Aberdour and lies just south of the Moray Firth coast, seven miles west of Ferrisborough. One of the earliest churches in Scotland is said to have been founded here in 580 AD by St Troston and St Columba. St Droston was the founder and abbot of the monastery of Old Deer in Aberdeenshire. His relics were translated to the church at New Aberdeenshire and his holy well lies nearby. Droston was one of the 12 companions who sailed from Ireland to Scotland around 563 with St Columba. These 12 became known as the Brethren of St Columba. He accompanied that saint when he visited Aberdour in Bochum. White. On the 28th of October 1884, SS William Hope was sailing from Fraserburgh to Burghead, carrying only ballast. Caught off Troop Head by a shift in the wind in severe conditions, the captain headed into Aberdour Bay, where its steam engine failed and anchor chain broke. When the ship was drifting towards rocks on the shore, Jane White, wife of a farm worker, was walking her dog along the beach. White waded into the sea and caught a rope thrown towards her. Winding it round her waist she pulled back to the shore and held it firmly while all 15 sailors struggled to reach land one at a time. She then gave them some shelter overnight until they were able to return to Dundee. White was awarded the RNLI Silver Medal for Outstanding Bravery and a Board of Trade Award of Gallantry. With her £10 reward, she was able to purchase her rented croft. The ship, an iron fishing trawler built in 1882, was wrecked and sold to be broken up.
thank you for watching Desmond's Donuts. And remember, please take nothing but memories and leave nothing but tracks. Please subscribe and ring the bell for notifications and hopefully we'll see you next time.